up, see who this was. Call him back.
No, because we got the generator. Once you, once you, just like you came in and gave a statement, we'll take your statement, record a statement, but you don't wait here for us to process it. It takes a while to process it. Well, I wouldn't wait to process it, but I wouldn't have to wait to get a case number either. If I do that same complaint online right now, I will get a case so re- number right now. Yes, but remember, you're doing it through the Miami-Dade County. You're not doing it through, you're doing it through the whole county um, um, online system. Corrections doesn't have an online system. So once you generate that, that gets that will get transpired to corrections, and we will still have to generate something else, a number for our internal department. When you make that complaint online, you're making it through a Miami-Dade County database. It's not a correction database. Remember, Miami Dade County is supersedes and DCR. And DCR is just a department. So if it comes through, just like if you call three one one, they may give you something. However, they're going to route that complaint to MDCR. The actual, depending on the complaint, they would route it on to Miami Dade County Correction. If I make it online with Miami Dade County Corrections, I will get the case number as soon as I press enter on the spot. That it can find. Because you're making that through the Miami Dade County website. MDCR does not have a, a website that, that generates it to us. Miami Dade County Corrections have a website where you can make eye complaints, correct? No, sir. You have to do it through the Miami Dade County website. Whatever you're talking about is through Miami Dade County. So I'm going to go talk to Dan, you reference this, and I'm going to give you a phone call back. All right. Will that be today? I will try to get it to you today. Is- is uh, Officer Haynes available? No, he is not in. Investigator Haynes, he is not in. Uh, was he in today? No, he would not be. Uh, you know where he worked? Where he worked? Yeah. No, I'm not his supervisor. Do you know? Can you find out? Yes, when I call you back, I will let you know when he comes back to work. Uh, you know who a supervisor is? Yes, I do. Who is the supervisor? Lieutenant Davis. Oh, Worthless Davis. And is uh, Worthless Davis here? Say the name. Uh, you said Worthless Davis. Worthless Davis? No, he is not in. You said the supervisor? Yeah. No, he is not in. No way at the end? No, probably tomorrow. All right. Let them uh, call us know I'm looking for him. Sure will. Have a great day. I'll be calling you back. Department, I do. Look, all these is? pigs Doug. like to play with my first Douglas. name. What's your last name, Douglas? A-B-A-C-I-A. Hold on, slow down. A-B-A-C-I-A. Yeah. Okay. Now, the bitch heard me the first time. And I left a, voice, the, I left a voicemail with you yesterday. But they got to go out there. Who, 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 who you left with? Thomas? Lieutenant Thomas? Mix up. Uh, what's your name? name? Allison? Always. Yes. Every government uh, call. I left it on your voice. You can tell the agents. Okay, so let me, you want me to, I'm going to check it and I'm going to give you a call right back, okay? Because I didn't check it out. She just told me that you called, so I didn't even check them. But I, she just told me you called, so I was now trying to woman, give you a call back before. She ready to I hang up on me. So let me call her, check the voicemail, and I can give you a call back. To go check the voicemail and see what was the message well, I left. call back it, tomorrow? Instead of just acting No, today, because I want to see what you're complaining. Is you going to give it to me now, or do you want me to check the voicemail regarding this complaint? Why would I want you to check the voicemail, bitch, if I'm on the phone now? I'm ready. That's about well, the dumbest shit in the world. Complaint against a little smart mouth uh, co worker of yours. Now you going to see the whole Okay, I'm talking about the floor down, floor down complaint. Me, uh, now, where does this person work at? Uh, your department. But MDs for corrections? A case number to my complaint. Work for internal affairs. Okay, so the, so, the, so the unit, how many okay. Complaints they can lose. Yeah, your department. You and your family. No, so the department will be corrections. The, the unit will be internal affairs. So, who is the person? Document your shit. Uh, and then they find no in. fault in the officer's conduct and don't even. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Howard. Just imagine she how many people. And right. who the fuck is Mr. Howard? She works at AOK. Okay. Douglas. And what, what, what was the issue with her? Where did you she get that name from? Her name? I said, 
First name. He had last name with employee. Last name Douglas. Uh, this bitch say right hold on, Mr. Howard. Okay, let me have the last name. You gotta no, pay attention to these context clues. You don't remember her last name? And if no, you no, what did you call? Okay, what did you call? What these day? These people who oh, yes, uh, yes. partake in harassment. Okay. Let me see who was the person answering the calls yesterday and try to give you a call back to see what was called. That was the only complaint that she didn't give her first name. Like on the surface, it was no big deal. But below, they still throwing shots. They throwing shots at you. They throwing shots at you. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that's that's that caused a lot of people to break down mentally. Okay. When so many people fuck with him. And That's why Nicholas Cruz shot up Stone Man Douglas High School for okay. this type he of also, for this type of uh, bullying by the government. And the students so I'm calling the doing what the what they government parents was you just made the complaint? Go fuck with made that little boy. Yesterday. And that little nigga came back. Yeah, it's gonna take time up. before you get a number. Uh, once once we just start generating a number, you can go down to the uh this a bold face lot. Miami Dade County Corrections headquarters and do a public re a records you request for the, number the complaint. complaint. Or wait complaint. wait in the mail till we send no you a um a letter saying that we're looking into this complaint. Get it on the spot. Uh, so this showing this woman willing to risk her job. I said you can wait till we send a letter out. Because we have so to generate it and do the information. We will we'll send something in the mail, a certified letter to you, or you can go in about seven to ten business days to the Miami Dade County Corrections and Rehabilitation Department, third floor. I think I believe it's on the fourth floor. The Why public records request and do a public records request, request regarding any cases money. that you have with MDCR. And so two, Miami Dade County. Miami Dade Corrections. Yeah, don't so you know the address is twenty-five twenty-five until the case closed. Okay. Which will be in six months. Yep. Minimum. 62nd Street, and then you want to do a public records request. Tell them when you go there, you, you hit to do a public records request. So y'all can't give it to me now? No, you got to do it through a public records request. I'll wait till we finish, because I don't have anything yet. I don't even know what the complaint is. I have to go you see what was going on yesterday. Yes, I don't even know if they generated anything. I don't know anything about what the complaint is, because the complaint is about the young lady, right? Yep. So I don't, I don't, I won't know. I need to go try to investigate first. Ain't y'all supposed to give up? Case number out. Who is this? Probation officer, sir, Jeremy. I'm calling in regards to the incident that happened last April. You were the victim, and the individual is due to be sentenced next month. So I have to reach out to you. Hey, what's the individual name? Uh, Robert Irwin. Irwin. Okay. And you're the victim. So I have to reach out to you. I was trying to send you something, but I don't have an um, actual current address for you. Um, do you have a current address? Okay, no. Wow, well, what's going on? Well, you're a victim, so I need to reach out to you. Were you seeking any type of restitution? Were you planning on being at, at court for his sentencing? Did you want the judge to know anything? What do you think should happen to him? Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you seek? restitution and what's the situation about being at his sentence? Well, he's going to be sentenced on um, March 1st. So you could be there if you wanted to be there. Sentencing is March 1st at, um, let me see what time they have it scheduled for. 9.30 in the morning. Okay. What do restitution mean? Well, I don't know. I mean, was there any, did you have hospital bills uh, that you need to be reimbursed on, stuff like that? Stuff like what else? That's pretty much it. Were you out money, maybe for missing work? That's, you don't have a current address, that's why it'd be better if I send you paperwork so you can fill it out and get it back to me. Uh, so what you telling me here on probation? No, he's not. He's going to be sentenced on March 1st. He hasn't been placed on anything. He's due to be sentenced. So how do probation get involved? Because uh, when when he pled, the judge ordered for a PSI to be done, which is what I'm doing, which is a report to give the judge more information. And part of that PSI is if there's a victim, we have to reach out to the victim, which is why I'm reaching out to you. Yeah, I'm a victim, so I do a report. So who pays this restitution? I was the defendant going to prison. They hate me. Well, 
Well, if, if, the, if the judge orders restitution, that's first and foremost. Then that's on him to get it paid. All right. Yeah, I would like to seek restitution. And, um, for what? And what amount? Uh, I have to. I have to calculate my damages. Okay. Well, you need to do that. And and, and the judge for this, she's very particular about stuff. So you mean she? You're gonna require proof. Uh, damages is ongoing. My injuries isn't. Okay, so you got you got medical bills? Uh, yeah, I got some medical bills. Okay, what can I send you paperwork so you can send that stuff in? Because she would love to see that. Uh, I don't have a mailing address right now. You don't have a mailing address. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Well, your best thing is to show up for to, for court for sentencing because I I can't get anything to you if I can't mail nothing to you. And if you um would bring your your I would suggest bringing your medical bills and stuff with you. Um, what do you think should happen to him? I I can at least put that in the in the uh, the report. Uh, life in prison. Okay. And I want him to testify as to who uh. The officers was that sent him to kill me. I want to be able to see the evidence that was used against him because the prosecutor's office withheld the evidence because the guy was a assassin for the Cleveland police and Miami police. Right. So they holding. I want to see the. I want to also let the judge know about the. Yeah, no. The police that. and the prosecutors uh, withheld the CCTV footage from the surrounding areas when yeah. I was uh, stabbed by the man because uh, the local police had sent them there to kill me. I had an ongoing IA investigation with the IA officer, one who now uh, I think he slot or transferred to another division. He notified the local police that I filed an IA complaint. Those police had called and threatened to kill me. That same day, asked me about my whereabouts. And when I told them, they sent that man to the same location, the church, to stab me and kill me right at the church. Now the prosecutor and the police was told me that they ordered the surveillance footage from the area. Now they hiding the evidence from me. They tell me I can't see discovery, which is what I'm arguing about. So this man was a, a, a assassin for the police and the, and the prosecutors and the police sent him to kill me because I'm a civil rights activist in Miami and Cleveland with over a dozen lawsuits against the police and prosecutors to bring them down for criminal acts. This same man right here and the prosecutors also the criminal record that they have on file for me where they say it's a sexual battery, abduction, GSI conviction, those records inside of that discovery of mine is false. They altered and put in fake paperwork in there. That means they committing a criminal offense right in the state attorney's office. So that's why they allow him this attempt, whatever, what, what charge they allow him to plead guilty to? Uh, let me see what Mr. Irwin pled guilty to here. <laughs> Looks like he pled guilty to attempted felonious assault. Uh, attempt means that that's a crime that I wouldn't approve of him doing. I told the prosecutors I didn't agree to him taking it. They didn't consult with me about that. Guilty. And he didn't make an attempt if he stabbed me over four or five attempt. times. Knife wounds was four or five inches deep in my skin. That was an attempt. That was a attempted murder. Attempted murder. Mm. All right, so yeah, you, you can you can show up for his sentencing. He's gonna like I said, March first. He's gonna be in Judge Kathleen Satula's courtroom. That's on the twenty third floor. Do I have um, any right as a citizen case, to look at the evidence? I'm not an attorney, sir. I know about the procedures and people that are working with these procedures. Uh -huh. 
So that's Cleveland probation office about the nigga who stabbed me. Don't don't get it twisted and think he like a real nigga or something like that. Like I'm snitching on a G or something. This nigga not no G. He can't even if I was in the jail with him, he would still be the snitch. He would still be the snitch. They would ask move him to PC for custody. Shit, I'll be pulling his paperwork out. Hell yeah. Had to get that nigga ass off the street. Why lead them funky ass niggas on the street? To go tell on another nigga? Go, go rob somebody for another cop? If I'm gonna rob somebody, it's not gonna be for the police, man. It's gonna be for me. Police want you to hurt a nigga. More than likely, that nigga hurting the police. Which is the case with me. And... And booking that nigga in, it just helped me bring, it just helped me to build a case against the police and the FBI. Why why let all these trails go to waste? And when I get in court, I got no ammo. I can only talk about shit that happened. And and then most of that shit be objected to anyways because it's no evidence, it's hearsay, and a million other things prosecutors and their lawyers can do to strike your testimony and shit. Other than them also saying, Mr. Doug, you have no proof. You was abused of this nature in the county jail. What's your proof? You never mentioned it until now. You're just trying to sue to get this money. Now I got grievances. Two, three hundred in a motherfucker. So I'm like, no, I got proof. And I got proof of y'all obstructing the investigation every time. See, this is a war about this paper, man. P A P E R. You beat them up on paper, then you can really, really enjoy kicking their ass in the streets, too. And they can't run to their badges for help because you stripped them from that from that protection of the law. And that's what I'm working on doing. That's my gangster dizzle, man. That's what it's about. 